h multiplied by one over one over this term here, which is uh, v of x plus h times times v of x. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we have we have the product here. We're going to we're going to distribute the limit across both of these two particular these particular two terms. So now what we end up with is we end up with that this is equal to. So therefore we have we have uh, f prime of x must be equal to it's the limit as h tends to zero of this part here, which is u of x plus h times v of x minus u of x times v of x plus h, all divided by h times the limit of this quantity here, the limit as h tends to zero of one over v of x plus h times v of x. And let's just keep in mind here is that when we evaluate this particular function here, don't forget these are differentiable functions. So the limit does exist. Uh, so when we evaluate this particular function here, v of x plus h as h tends to zero, well, the evaluation of v of x plus h as h tends to zero, well, h is tends to zero, so that's equivalent to just v of x. So now what we end up with is the limit, and also uh, as h tends to zero with respect to v of x, it's just equal to v of x. So now what we end up with is, is that this limit here is the same as one over v of x times v of x, which gives us v of x squared. So therefore we have, we have f prime of x is equal to the limit as h tends to zero of u of x plus h times v of x minus u of x times v of x plus h all divided by h times, okay, so this whole thing here now is times uh, one over uh, v of x to be squared. Okay, so it's v of x squared. Now, what we want to do is this, is that we're going to do a little bit of work here on this particular part, on this particular part of, of this particular limit, yeah? And don't forget, for us to calculate from force principles, the derivative, what we really want to get is, don't forget that the derivative of any function, let's say any function g of x, is simply equal to the limit, as h tends to zero, of g of x plus h minus g of x, all over h. So we'd like to do a little bit of work on this numerator here to see, can we break this into something that looks like g of x plus h minus g of x. And what we're going to do is this, is that we're going to do a little bit of a, a sleight of hand. <clears throat> we're going to add in, and let's see what happens. We're going to add in up here the quantity. So what we're going to add in is we're going to add in minus, minus u of x minus u of x times v of x plus u of x times v of x. We're gonna add this particular quantity into this numerator. And you can see actually when we add the, both of these two things here together, we actually get zero. So by adding in this particular quantity, it has no effect in relation to this particular numerator. But what we end up with is we end up with that f prime of x must be equal to the limit as h tends to zero of this piece here, which is u of x plus h times v of x minus u of x times v of x, okay, plus u of x times v of x times, sorry, minus, sorry, this is adding in this piece here, right into the middle here, minus uh, u of x times v of x plus h, okay? So that's what we end up with, and this is all over, this is all over, all over h, which needs to be multiplied by one over v of x squared. Let's not forget that we've already evaluated uh, this particular term here as h tends to tends to zero. Now, let's concentrate. Let's just concentrate on these two parts here. Let's concentrate on this piece here, and let's concentrate on this piece here. And what you can probably see here, what's common is that there's a v of x common here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the v of x out and see what's left behind. So this becomes, therefore, we have f prime of x is going to be equal to the limit. What's common here is a v of x, so it's going to be a v of x times, let's say, a u of x plus h minus a u of x, okay? Uh, plus, what's common between both of these two terms here is, hmm, we'd like to get it into the form of g of x plus h minus g of x. We really need this 
piece to be positive inside this bracket. So if we actually take out a minus u of x, okay? So we're actually gonna take out a minus u of x. So what we actually we're taking out here, so we're gonna take out a minus u of x. So let's actually change this instead of plus to be a minus u of x times what's left behind here, okay? Well, actually, what's clearly left behind here when we, when we take the minus u of x out is a v of x plus h. And what's left behind here when we take the, the u of x out, well, what do we need to multiply u of x by to give us positive u of x, v of x? We need to multiply it by minus, minus v of x, okay? So what we've now effectively done, as h, sorry, as h tends to zero here, what we've now effectively done and times one over v of x squared, what we've effectively done is we've broken this particular numerator up into, into a number of terms where inside this bracket, this looks very, very familiar. It looks like this, 